Hello everyone, I'm Laurel and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making some resin miniatures and we're going to make witches cauldrons with some magical bubbling brew just in time for Halloween. The supplies you're going to need are UV resin, you'll need some black uh, dye, it's resin dye or colorant, you can use either the dye or you can use mica powder. You'll need a mixing bowl, mixing utensil, tweezers. You'll need some of these really nice little bubble beads. You'll need a glass tile and some sticky tack. You'll also need like a little bowl or a tray for when you're pouring the bubbles. That way, um, whatever falls off you can just put back in your container and the molds we're going to use are this little jar mold we're going to use this mold I know it seems a little unusual but since we're making a cauldron we need some little feet on the cauldron so we're using just this one little tiny mold right here then we're going to use this button mold and we're going to use just the edges of the heart to make handles for the cauldron. Now optional is to use this chameleon color nail polish. You don't have to use this. The black is just fine to work with. You don't need this. Another option is this no wipe top coat and this is by Canny, and you can use that. You don't need to. You can just use your UV resin to do any kind of top coats over your piece. So let's get started. All right, to begin with, we're going to need to put UV resin into the mixing bowl, and you're going to need enough to fill this little round jar mold up. Now we're going to be making two, so if you make an over amount of this and it fills this jar up and you have leftover, you're obviously going to be making a second one. So I put three drops in and that should be, well, I think we might need it a little bit darker. Let's mix it up first just to see. I think I'm going to do two more drops. I don't want it too dark um, because if you make it too dark, it'll be hard for it to cure all the way through, especially since it's this little round mold and you want the UV light to go through this and cure all the way through it. Now, if by chance, it doesn't and you still see liquid roaming around on the inside of it on a sunny day you could always take it outside and just let it sit for a half an hour to maybe an hour and it should cure all the way through because that's what i usually do if i have something like this and and if i'm using a darker a darker color now i'm just getting rid of any bubbles and then I'm going to start pouring it into the mold. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to create any more bubbles. Oh, this mold takes quite a bit. Okay, so we're gonna have to mix up more. This project may be good for the two-part epoxy because you can mix up more at one time. I'm just using these little bowls. Okay, so I'm doing five drops. 
so I can get it the same, approximately the same color black. It'll all blend in. Get my lighter, get rid of those bubbles. Oops, some dropped. All right. Then we'll start pouring it in slowly. Now I'm not going to go all the way up to the top. I may go just a little bit more. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but here, let me show you. I did not fill it all the way to the top. I wanted to leave just a little bit of an opening to make more of a pot shaped rather than a, like a jar. Okay, and then we have that little portion here that I made a mess on. Just clean that up. And then we're going to cure this for five minutes. And then I'll take a look at it. And if it doesn't seem like it's cured all the way through, I'll cure it for another five minutes. Now that it's done curing, we can remove it from the mold. It may take a little bit extra effort to get it out. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to have to make a second one. So I'm going to do that off the camera and it's just going to do the same process. And then once we get that part done, um, I'll show you what the next step will be. Okay, so now that this is done, I'm just going to set those aside and I'm going to take out this mold. And this mold oops, has a very tiny little, like a half circle. So I'm going to be making eight of those. So all you do is take your leftover resin, make sure it's mixed up good, and then just place it into there. And I think I put just a little bit much because it... So just make sure that when you put it in, it's um, actually flat on the top and doesn't dome up because we're going to need that flat. Um, so that we can put it on this. So I'm going to cure this now for 60 seconds. All right, now that that's cured, you can just pop it out. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so we're going to make eight of those. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. All right, so once we have all eight of these done, we can set this mold aside. Now we need one more thing to make the cauldron and usually the cauldrons have like little side handles. The next mold you're going to need is well, this little button mold. And I know you don't quite understand why, but we have to make handles for the cauldron. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the curve of the heart on both sides and then we'll make two handles for the cauldron. And when we do this, we're going to do it two times. So we'll just do one for, well, the one set first. I'm just going to put mm, about three drops in and then the same with this side. And we're just using the curve of the heart to do this. Uh, we could probably put another drop in. And then we're going to cure this for 90 seconds. All right, now that they're done curing, I can remove them. 
and then I'm going to make two more and then when I'm done with those I'm going to come back and show you how to start attaching everything okay so once all four of these are made we can start putting the feet on the bottom of the cauldron so we're going to need four for each And you just put a little dab where you want to put it. Oops. And then once you have them where you want them, cure it for 90 seconds. Once that's cured, it looks like this. It's got the little feet on the bottom. And then we'll do the same with this one. Now, if you're having problems holding them or they're kind of slipping out of your fingers, you can use um, tweezers to apply the little feet on the cauldron. And that one's kind of escaping and sliding on down. We don't want that, so just move that back up. And try to have them spaced um, both both of them about the same for the feet. Okay. And then we're going to cure this. Oops. This one just does not want to stay. And we're going to cure this for 90 seconds. All right. So once they're cured, you can take some of the leftover resin around each leg of the cauldron and that just ensures that it'll stay on there and it won't fall off and then plus because you're putting something flat on a curve there's like little gaps so you just want to make sure that those gaps are filled in and then we're going to cure this for 90 seconds all right, so while that's curing, I want to make sure that all of my handles are the same size. Oops, I keep dropping it. All right. So this looks like a good size, and I'm just going to use scissors and just clip it. And then plus it makes it go straight across. So when we attach it to the, to the cauldron, it'll go on nicely. I'm just trimming it a little bit more. We're just going to make it so it sticks out a little bit, but not too much. I think one of them was still a little wet. That's okay. I'm just going to just clean that up in a bit. And okay. So take all these little bits. Yeah, one of them, the resin was just a little bit still wet. So, all right. Let's see. Do we have them all about roughly the same? Well, looks like it. Yeah, there we go. All right. So once that's done curing, you're going to need 
a tile, a glass tile, with a, let me move this over here, um, with some sticky tack. And then I'm just going to stick that on there. And then I'm going to just take a little bit of this and put it on the ends and put the handle on. Now you may need tweezers for this because I am having a little bit of a difficulty with these. All right. So you get the tweezers. And then we gotta just do that again. A little bit here, a little bit there. Hold that on and then cure it for 60 seconds. All right, so once that is cured, you can take this and do the same. If there's any little gaps, just fill them in. and then cure that for 90 seconds. All right, now that that's cured, you can see the little handle. And then we're gonna do another one on the other side. So I'm gonna have to move this over more towards the edge because we have the little handle on there, so. And you kind of want to get it in the same spot if you can. Then just pick one and use your tweezers to hold it on and then cure it for 60 seconds. And then also don't forget once it's done curing, you're going to put this around the edges and make sure that it's um, secure and that'll take like another 90 seconds and then I'll be right back. All right, while that's curing, I'm going to go ahead and do the second one and then once I'm done with this one, I'll come back and then show you the next step. All right, now that these are done, you can see the handles and the feet. But what else can we do to these? Before we do our bubbling brew, you can do a light coat of the UV resin over the entire piece. Um, what you could do is just take a piece of sticky tack, turn it over, and where the bubbling brew is going to be, just stick that portion onto the sticky tack and then just go over the entire thing with a single layer of the UV resin. So before I put that layer on, I was thinking of decorating it somehow and then have like the bubbling brew go around it. So I was thinking something like, I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm gonna try. And I'm using my Artex acrylic markers. And it's not really centered, so <laughs> yeah, we can just, the good thing is before you seal it with the um, UV resin, you can draw on it and then take it off as many times as you want. So we could do like a, oops, hocus, hocus on there. That's kind of cute. All right, so the one I did hocus pocus on and then the other one I just, left blank and so the next step is placing the top part down on the sticky tack there we go and you're going to need a 
top coat for it and you can use the UV resin and then just do a top coat and brush it over everything, just a light coat. Or you can use no wipe top coat, which I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna hold this in my hand. It is secure on there. And I'm just going to go over it with the top coat. Now remember, if you write on it or you put a little face or whatever, um, make sure you're very delicate when you brush over the writing. So I'm just going to do all the parts first where there's no writing in the legs. And then I just noticed oops, that on the O, there's like some little speckles of black coming through. So let me just do this as far as I can get it. Make sure you get the handles and the feet. That's very important. And around the edges here. I'm trying to see if I missed anything. All right, so I saw that little spot on the O, so I'm going to very carefully go over it. All right, now that that portion is fixed, I'm just looking to make sure I got everywhere around it. Looks good. Now very carefully, I'm gonna go over the Hocus Pocus. And I'm not going to be like rubbing back and forth because that'll take that right off. And that looks good, so I got everywhere. That's going under the light, and I'm gonna do this for five minutes. Now this one, this is the plain one. So this is gonna be much easier. We just have to make sure it's all coated. Make sure you get around that handle. Oop! Don't do that. <laughs> it happens. And I just have to figure out where it hit, but just make sure you coat it good. Now this is the first time I've used this canny, so I'm just hoping that it gives me the shine that One Door does. Um, that's the other brand I use. And I will show you that. And that is this one. And I really like this one. Shine is gorgeous. And uh, so we'll see how this works. I've never used this brand before. I'm sure the quality is just as good. Found out where I dropped it. <laughs> oh, okay, so I think I got everything. Let me see. And then just go over it really quick. Just look it over and make sure that it's smooth. There's no bubbles. And then you can, oops, I missed a, I did miss a spot. 
that's not good. And once you have it all done and you see that everything is covered, you can put it under the light for five minutes and then we'll come back and I'll show you when they're done. All right, now that they're done curing, they have a really nice shine to them. And so next, we're going to work on the bubbling brew. All right, so I decided to use this nail polish that I got from Timu and place it in top because I'm not sure if it'll work, but it is the chameleon color and I don't know if it will help make the bubbles look even better. So we're just going to try it. No big deal. You don't have to if you don't have that. You can just put the bubbles in there. But before I show you how to put the bubbles in, I'm going to do this. All right, that's all cured. What I did do is I showed you that I used the chameleon color in the bottom of the pot. There was like a larger dip to it. And I thought it was going to take up way too many of the bubbles. So I filled it in a little bit with the clear UV resin. Um, I didn't quite top it off, but it's close to the top. And then I just took this uh, chameleon color and went over it again and cured it. And I cured it for about, again, five minutes. So now I'm going to put the bubbles in and I'm going to use this UV resin and I'm just going to get this and use this as a tray and then just stick that in there. I'm gonna put just um, just a light coat. Clean this off. And then spread this around. And I'm using the jar so it can catch any excess beads that might fall off. Can you see them? Okay. And I think with the chameleon color underneath, it's making them really pretty all right so now i'm going to cure this for 90 seconds i'm just going to put the whole thing underneath and i'll be right back so it's done curing and as you can see the beads now i just want a little bit more in here and i'm just going to put it back in here Get just a little bit more of the clear resin. I just want like a little, like a little bit raised area in the center. So it looks like it's bubbling up. And then I'm just going to put more on. And once you get them on here, anything that falls down, you can just place it right back in your container. And then just close it up. All right, we're gonna cure that for 90 seconds. Okay, now that it's cured, you can see how it's a little bit raised. Um, if you want it bubbling over, you can do that. Um, I think it looks cute the way it is. I might put a little more. I'm thinking just a little bit. And then we can do the second one. Oops, when we're done.
And it doesn't really hurt to add more. I'm just going to kind of do a drip there and a drip there and then just hopefully this will work. I don't know. We'll see. Dripping down. Okay, I didn't quite want it to do that, but well, whatever. Let's see how it did. Okay. I think I want it to, oops, oh, let's see, drip a little bit on this side right here, just a little bit. I think I did the drips on the other side just a little bit too much, but that's okay. And I just stuck my hand in ugh, the resin and got it all over this. Ugh. I'm just cleaning this off my hands. Ugh. <laughs> They're just full of resin. That's not cool. Alright, so now we'll just get it over on this side a little bit so that they drip down. A little more here, a little more there. Alright, and then we're going to cure this for 90 seconds. Alright, so the other one is still curing and I'm just going to work on this one now. And then I'm going to put this under for about 90 seconds to 180 seconds to make sure it's cured. All right, so we're going to add a little more to the top just to raise it up a bit with the bubbles. And then we're going to cure this for, um, I'll say 180 seconds. I just noticed some of it drift, so I want to put some bubbles there. Oops, bubbles got all over. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to cure it. This one's finished curing, and you can see all the, the bubbles that went down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the top coat again and I'm gonna cover the entire thing. So, to do that, I'll need my little sticky thing, and I'm gonna put it on the bottom because we're gonna do the top portion first, and then we're going to cure it. I got some bubbles hanging around here. Oops. Make sure all my bubbles are in there. And that's why you should use like a little tray or something when you're doing this so that you don't get it all over the place. All right, so I'm just gonna hold this and then go over. Bubbles and everything, it's not gonna hurt them and they're still gonna be very pretty. Now I'm going down to like the foot or the pedestal part of the, um, the cauldron. There are some bubbles that went all the way down, so that's all right. Because remember this is bubbling up, you're brewing something or other in there. And I'm just going to go over everything again and just make sure everything is going to be super sparkly and very pretty. And I noticed my S on the Hocus Pocus must have, 
I must have brushed it too hard or something. I'm not sure what happened there. But I am going to fix it, of course. And you have to do this on top, too, because you want these bubbles to stay on there. You don't want them to break off at any point. Okay. I think I got everything. All the bubbles. All the sides. Alright, and now we're going to cure this for five minutes. Okay, so this one is done, so we can take this out. And this one, we got a couple little spots there. Um, if you want more, we can add more. Um, this might be, oops, I lost my sticky tack. I don't know where it went, oh, there it is. All right, so you just need another glass tile, some sticky tack, and where you want your bubbles to lay, just put it right in there and I'm just going to use some of this and just paint on where I'd like it to drip just do a drip there add some bubbles And then I'm going to cure this for 90 seconds and then come back and do a couple more drips. Okay, so that is done. So the way I did the drips on the other one where I just dripped it down and then poured the beads on, that's fine, but it does go all the way down. It drips down all the way down to the little feet. So if you don't want that um, and you want maybe a couple little drips here and there, I recommend just, you know, you can use the UV resin for this, but just put very little on. I'm just painting on like where I'd like some extra bubbles. And we'll see how this goes. See, We'll see which one looks better. How about that? And then I'm going to cure that again for 90 seconds. So that's finished. So yes, this is a tutorial, but I'm also having fun with it because doing something with these beads like this, that's really experimental. Um, you don't know how they're gonna turn out or you might wanna be uh, like a little bit more precise on it like I'm doing here. Whereas the other one was a little bit more random where the little beads flowed to. So this one is um, basically, I am putting them where I'd like them to be. And I think I want a little drip here. So I'm just going to paint on an area where it looks like it's dripping down a little longer. Um, so this is being a little bit more precise with the placement because I'm taking my time and just placing some bubbles here and there. And then I'm going to cure this for 90 seconds. Okay, so they're done curing. I'm gonna take this off. And see, I, you can tell that I did this one with more of an intention of how I wanted it to bubble over. Now, I'd like a little more up here, just a tad bit, not a lot but I'm just gonna put just a, a little dab of the UV resin on there. And then I'm just gonna place a few more. So I just want it raised up a bit and then I'm going to cure that for the 90 seconds. And this Hocus Pocus is done so far. So we'll just unstick it from the sticky tack. And as you can see, this was more random. So I just did drips and it dripped down. And then uh, it went down to the feet. It still stands, it's still fine. Um, so all I have to do now is just go over this part and just stick it back on the sticky tack. 
and I'm just going to paint on the bottom portion where the feet are and just cover that up because we only got the outer part we didn't get the inner part so there we go and then we're going to put that under the light for five minutes it takes a little longer to cure when you're using the nail gel so it's going to be about like five minutes three to five minutes all right so now while that other one is curing this is done as you can see and we can take all the glass beads that are on the bottom of there open this back up and then pour them right back in there right back into the bag seal it up set it aside for another project and now we're going to do the same we're going to put this on the sticky tack and just lightly coat this all over just to keep um, the little bubble beads on they are falling off here and there I see so we're just gonna coat the whole thing and cure it for five minutes all right so now they're finished they're all cured and you can just see how adorable they are you can see all those bubbles brewing over I think this is just so cute now I'm just gonna set these with my other miniatures and um, you're gonna see that in just a second So here they are with all my other little miniatures and my little stuffies and little collectibles there and I think it looks really cute. So if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and press that bell for notifications of upcoming videos. Also in the description box below you will find links to all the supplies. You'll also find links to my eye jewelry, my artwork, and my photography. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.